Hi, Scorpio, this is your soulmate reading for October of 2019. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by today for your reading. I know there are so many YouTubers on YouTube and that read tarot, they're very gifted and you know, it just makes me really happy that you're here today watching my video. So thank you so much for all of the support and love on my channel. I cannot believe we are so close to 100,000 subscribers from the bottom of my heart. It makes me so happy. And my way of giving back for a very, very long time. In fact, I've been doing giveaways on my channel since I think last year, this time last year or even before. So that's my way of giving back and if you would like to enter for a free reading, do check out the description box below. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, which is done within 24 to 48 hours, do check out the description box below as well. And the last thing I want to mention is that my handmade intention bracelets are on Etsy. This one here is the 2020 energy bracelet. So these are meditated with, they are saged, a lot of intention has been put into them. There are so many different bracelets on my Etsy. You can check out the reviews and the listings and how it works, how it's worked for other people um, if you'd like to. And they start from just three pounds with free international shipping and Everything is in the description box below. So Scorpio, let's have a look and see what is coming through for your reading. So I did pre-shuffle all the cards, but I thought I'd just do one on camera. I felt very drawn to doing one. And now I'm just going to properly shuffle the cards. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but we have a card that flipped over and it's the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Swords. You know what? I like seeing this Ten. You know why? Because this is about putting pain in the past and not just putting it in the past for the sake of putting it in the past, but really, you know, just learning and growing and healing from things that have happened in your past. We also have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is about feeling left out and lonely, not a great energy in general, but it's also showing a change. Fives and tarot are also about change, and the ten here also shows a cycle being completed. You cannot get more hurt than this, and I'm seeing you really just growing and flourishing in October, and feeling just so into yourself and very intuitive. That's what's coming through, and grounding and controlling your emotions with that moon just perfectly placed by the High Priestess's feet. So the Ace of Pentacles in terms of October is showing that your soulmate is wanting you. I know that you see that Ten of Swords, but this is also about the pain being put in the past, right? So if you felt like you've been just waiting and you've been wondering when things are really going to come together for you, then it's now because this Ten is about, you know, you having ended that and having ended the wait, you having ended that sense of feeling lonely. I feel that this is specifically for those of you that this so far resonates with. So if you feel that this reading so far just hasn't really resonated with your situation, just, just doesn't make sense, it's most likely not going to be for you because I really do feel that this is going to be specifically for those of you that this really just makes sense to. So um, just be a bit aware of that. What I am seeing is that there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of progress. You know, Ace of Pentacles shows your soulmate coming forward and, you know, ending this sense of loneliness that you felt, the sense of sadness that you felt, but also you doing this for yourself. There you go, Two of Cups. There you go, Two of Wands. See how this person has that hand on that one? It's about making that decision. Two of Cups. Two of freaking Cups, right? The Two of Cups here is very important because it shows a sense of things being mutual and equal and not one-sided. It is really about divine timing and things coming together in a really beautiful way. Page of Cups here shows progression, it shows happiness, it shows joy, it shows an opening. It's a really beautiful energy because it really shows that there are things progressing and that there is an opening. There's a fish in that cup so it shows a manifestation. Your time, Scorpio, is right now. That card just flipped over, so I just helped it come out as well. Your time is now. It really is. There is progress here. There is so much developing for you. Six of Pentacles is really about this beautiful, mutual energy. As I mentioned, this thing here, connection, is not one-sided. It is equal. It is mutual. 
mutual, <laughs> what is mutual? Mutual, it is beautiful. You give, they give back. You know, it's balanced like the scales that we see as well. In October, we have Libra season from the 1st to the 23rd of October. We've got scales there. It just shows you how it blends so seamlessly with the season that controls majority of October, or is present, should I say. It's a better word to say, you know, the season that's present in majority of October. Beautiful energy, really exciting to see, makes me very happy. Hope it uplifts you as well. I like what I'm seeing, I really, really do. King of Wands, right, so this King of Wands is showcasing a sense of joy, sense of happiness. It's also showcasing things progressing okay so if you're single this is about someone coming in if you're with your soulmate this is about things progressing more if you're in a situationship that is about things being mainly resolved you know and being able to embark on a new journey on a new chapter feeling good you know feeling strong feeling solid sense of loyalty with this little dog happiness joy and positivity warmth with the sun you know just embarking and Finally, things working out and things feeling good, feeling exciting. You know, that's what I'm seeing with the full. Sorry, that was my phone that vibrated. I never really keep it on my table very often anymore, but I had it because I was doing some private readings, so I do apologise that it went off. So the King of Wands, right, is really about a lot of progression. As I mentioned, it's about them taking action towards you, progressing things with you, really pursuing you, um, and just you know, this king-like energy, it's very mature energy, it's, it's about wanting more, and also physical attraction as well, I do apologise again for my phone, um, six of wands, right, this is about victory, success, potential, it's about union, it's about again them pursuing you, a lot of fire energy coming through, but we also have a lot of cup energy as well, we just have basically all the energies present in this particular reading, I will be very transparent about that, you know, it's, it's not always about the signs, because the thing is, our birth charts are made of multiple signs, our birth charts are made up of, I mean, it's not even uncommon that somebody could have all the signs in their birth chart, so, you know, I know that it's mainly about the predominant, the main kind of signs, but what I am seeing is that, you know, sometimes your rising sign could be having more of an influence than your sun sign, it is very possible for that to happen, so, you know, I just want you to be aware of that, but for some of you, seeing that fire energy may mean something, so just saying that as well. Okay, so, yep, yep, and yep, really, you know, a lot of attraction, but definitely a lot of pursuing that's going on here, but as I mentioned, it's equal, right, so you equally are happy with the level of pursuing that's going on. Queen of Pentacles, right, this is about stability, security, commitment, feeling really strong, feeling happy with how things are progressing, feeling good with how much you're getting out of the situation and the way in which things are progressing. So that shows the growth and the level of experience and things that are just getting stronger in this connection, which again is very, very positive. So Queen of Pentacles is really showing a sense of positivity and just things really progressing in a stronger direction. So overall, it's looking pretty amazing and you're definitely growing and learning and progressing and just, you know, getting to a much better place, which is always really nice to see. So this is your reading, Scorpio, for October. Just look at that beautiful Two of Cups energy. That has got to be in my thumbnail. I, I just feel so drawn to it, and plus it's part of your energy as well. It's great. It's amazing. So Scorpio, this is your reading. If this reading resonates with your situation, or if you have any comments whatsoever, please do comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And um, there's a bell icon next to the subscribe button. And if you, I think it comes up with an option where you can click on all and it will not notify you every single time a video of mine is uploaded on. So basically the notification will be my video going into your subscription box. Um, YouTube doesn't always put videos in people's subscription boxes. I don't know why, but you know, that's what happens, so if you are interested, do make sure you have that option set. Um, also, do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and, um, you know, I hope you have an absolutely lovely and wonderful day, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this video, and, um, yeah, Scorpio, take care. <laughs>
Bye.